so I just went garage sailing about I don't know a mile or so up the road there was a sail actually I think we could see the sail if it wasn't for the corn but um, there was this cabinet here she had a coffee table that matched it and the coffee table looked brand new just about but it was big it was a big coffee table and although I really liked it um, I don't have anywhere to put it so I didn't buy it but I did buy this it's got some holes knocked in the plastic it's not in real good shape but for what I'm gonna use it for it doesn't have to look great I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit probably clean it up later on in the like maybe in the fall or something when it's not as hot or I guess I can do it inside and then on the way over I found a hubcap on the side of the road those wheels over there came from Mr. Barry and then I have quite a bit of stuff here that I got from various different sales I pulled everything out here so I can show you what I got same sale that this is from I got this silver tray here and I've got one of these that is very very similar to this um, I don't think it's the same though I think that the pattern that's in it is a little bit different but it is it is quite similar to that one but they're nice so that's okay then I got this cool tin here actually it says 25 cents but the lady actually just gave it to me it says the um, uh, the American Century 1901 to 2000 and um, it's got a lot of you know just historical things that happened it's a pretty cool it's like history a history book on the side of a can. It's pretty cool. Sounds like there's something in it. Oh, there is. This probably had like tea or something in it. Canister made in England for Avon, Christmas of 1981. Okay. Well, anyway, a free can inside of a free can. Then I like Snoopy, so I got Snoopy here. He was free. Looks like he's typing on his typewriter there. I don't know, it, it must do something. Um. Because there's a slot here in the front. Um, looks like maybe you press down on the paper. I don't know. We'll have to pull it out of there sometime and figure it out. I got Tom and Jerry, the magic ring. I know I've seen this one. Uh, but it's been a while. So hopefully that VHS works. I don't usually buy them used. Because I'm not sure if they work, but then I got this really cool book about great disasters. Um, you know, it's like the the Hindenburg, and uh, there's some stuff about the Titanic somewhere in here. I don't know where it's at, but anyway, so that's pretty cool. I got this pot here. It's a pretty heavy pot. It's old because it's got wood handles on it. It's two dollars. Might be a pressure cooker the way that looks like the lid snaps on it. Uh, I'm missing something here. This is all from a different sale here. So first off, we got this 
trash can here. This really cool paper posted on the side of it. The Illustrated London News, Saturday, April 25th, 1868. Now, I don't think that the paper is actually that old. It's probably just a copy of, of that. But it still looks cool. You know, it looks old. I like the color of the can itself, too. Uh, I got some old um, Christmas ornaments here. You know, like ones that people make. Or they used to make. They're not real popular anymore, but I like that style of ornament. I also got a car radio. This is the good radios. They have a cassette and a CD player. Uh, not really sure what this is out of. It looks like maybe it's from some kind of GM product, but I'm not sure. Maybe that's not an accurate assumption at all. Manufacture. Oh, there we go. Delco Electronics, Kokomo, Indiana. Manufactured January 28th of 2003. All right. We have a Kokomo Tribune paper box. It's like five cents or something. All the red is kind of faded out of the letters. Motor route supplies. Movies, I couldn't remember. Days of Thunder. Cookbook. Cookbook. Alright, that's it. I thought I bought some rubber seals for, like, canning stuff. But, maybe not, because I don't see them in my truck anywhere. I've got my shirt, my gloves, my bag of stuff. No. Okay, I must have just picked them up and thought that I got them. I also got this John Wayne cup at the garage sale yesterday. I haven't uh, shown you guys the other stuff I got yesterday, but it's the same garage sale where I got the mailbox and the uh, um, car radio and the Christmas ornaments and stuff. I just, I uh, it was washing this out, so that's why it's here. Got his uh, printing of his signature there. Um, at first I thought there was a chip here. It's just where his sleeve is at, where it comes off of his, it just, it looks like it's kind of a chip in the cup, but it's not. A picture of John Wayne, and then, uh, don't say it's a fine morning or I'll shoot ya. It's from McClintock. So, just wanted you guys to see that. Okay, so here's the rest of the stuff that I got. It was yesterday when I made the video. It's been a couple weeks ago now, but I'm going to get this uh, tin thing out of the way here. This is really cool. Obviously, it's got some age to it. It's got roosters on it. Roosters and chickens. Letters, bills, and miscellaneous. And, um... You know, you just stick papers in here. Uh, it's made out of tin, as you can see here. Pretty cool. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's not scratched up too bad. There's a, It's only got a couple spots on it. Uh, there's some kind of stain on it right here. But that's really the only issue with it. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to set this down here. I got a seat cushion. Oops, we're hooked, we're hooked on my lamp here. I don't want to lose those pieces. Those are important. Got Buddy Baker, NASCAR. 
<laughs> Obviously, by the style of the NASCAR, this is an old cushion. It says Bud Moore Engineering. I got best hits of the 70s. You can kind of read what's on the back here. Some of these I like and some of these I don't like. Uh, I really, really like uh, Chevy Van by Sammy Johns. That was kind of the, I saw that song on here and I was like, you know what? For for 50 cents, I'm going to buy this whole thing just because it's got that on there. And I'm I'm sure there's, I haven't listened to this yet. I recognize some of the songs on there. Some of them I probably heard, but I don't know by name. Uh, got Margaret Mitchell's Mealtime Magic Desserts. Over 200 tried and true recipes. Now the reason I bought this, obviously, is not because I'm going to cook something out of this. Although I'm... At, at some someday, <laughs> I may decide, oh, I'm going to make that pie. That pie looks good. Um, but I got it because, I mean, obviously it's old. I think it's probably from the 60s. I, am, I assume there's a copyright somewhere in here. Wherever. <laughs> Publishing. New Kensington, Pennsylvania. Oh, it's older than I thought it was. Well, the first printing, this, I assume this book must be the first printing since there's no other, it doesn't say second printer or anything. 1951 by Aluminum Cooking Utensils Company. New Kensington, Pennsylvania. So, the uh, title is gone from the spine, but inside of the book is really clean. Uh, the other cup I got here, I showed you the John Wayne Cup already. This is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Cup. This was like 25 cents or 50 cents or something. This would have been an expensive cup down there at the Speedway. Really cool. Got the got the pagoda there and the uh, the tower. Got pit lane, and then the cars coming down the front straightaway there. The uh, yard of bricks is in gold right there. Got the museum here. I, f I forget what's in front of the museum. There's a fountain in front of the museum. I haven't been down there for a little while. I think that's what's in front of the museum. Yeah, it, it definitely is dusty inside of there but I just thought this was a cool cup especially for the price um, so that's what I got there I went to a bunch more garage sales since then so I'm just gonna combine all of this stuff into one video except for the stuff my friend had a garage sale and I'm gonna do that stuff in a separate video because I got a lot of stuff there so. alright so one of the things I got at um, I went to a sale down by, uh, yep, or I guess up by Monticello, where Indiana Beach is at. This, you could almost see Indiana Beach from the garage sale that I was at where I got this clock. It's a clock that looks like a computer, which is pretty cool. It took me, it's got two buttons on it, but man, I'll tell you what, it took me probably five minutes to set this clock to the right time. It seems like it's keeping okay time. Yeah, I guess it is that late. <laughs> I mean, it's not that late, but I mean, it's later than I thought it was. It says, Buddy, 1990 to 91, on the front there. It's a quartz clock. And the uh, computer kind of pivots a little bit, and then it spins around like that it's got this slot in the side here I'm not sure what that's for in the functionality of the clock uh, I've got a bunch of stuff in my hands that's what I'm trying to I got this really cool mug here and then a guy gave me a business card of uh, 
his uh, antique store. He happened to be at the same sale where I got all this stuff. And I think he was at the other sale that I went to in Monticello as well. But anyway, I got this really cool sea beer mug. It's got a lot of sea, uh, excuse me, it's got a lot of sea bee terms on it. Um, I know the majority of these, but there's a, uh, uh, some of these that I didn't know. And um, I just thought this was a pretty cool cup. I've got a lot of stuff in my hands, so I'm going to set it up on the table here. I got a tractor and something in a bag here. I think that's the glass. Okay, I got a sticker Chicago's News Rock Alternative Q101. It's just a sticker. I think the sticker was free. <laughs> This wasn't five bucks either. I've I've been trying to work on the steering in this tractor. It's kind of somebody broke out a hole down here, and it was enough of a hole for me to to see to uh, get the steering to kind of work. I can't get it to go left, but it turns right barely. Uh, this is an old John Deere. Hopefully I don't take too much paint off with this uh, masking tape here. Not enough that it's noticeable. Eh, it left a big sticky residue, so I'll have to address that later on. But this is an old tractor. The wheels are die cast, and so is the, the rest of it, the tractor itself. Obviously it's a John Deere. This is a, probably, with the grill being covered up like that, probably a, a 60s model tractor um, would be my guess. You can see the tires are kind of wore out on it. The, the treading is almost wore off of them. This is either an Ertl or a True Scale. Made in the USA, it says. You can see that this fender here is bent a little bit. Oh, you here. Now you can see. It's bent in a little bit. Seat's painted yellow. It's got some gauges on there. Yeah, it's missing the... Whoa. It's missing the steering wheel. Uh, this hitch here also leads me to believe it's probably an Ertl. Looks like it's got a kind of... A somewhat sort of similar to a, a three-point hitch system here as well. That hook up to some old Ertl uh, attachments. Yeah, it just says Made in USA on the side. It doesn't say Ertl or True Scale anywhere on it. My guess would be whichever one made this, it was made in Dyersville, Iowa. Um, it says John Deere. You know, on both sides we still have it. It's missing the smokestack and the steering wheel. I think that's really all it's missing, other than some paint. Uh, I'm just going to rip this bag open. I'm not bothering to untear it. To untear it, to untie it, I'm just going to tear it. Oh yeah, that's right. That is what this is. This was at a different sale, but it was still in... Uh, Yeah, um, Monticello. It's Daffy Duck. Oops. There you go, it's Daffy Duck. Uh, 1973 Pepsi Collector Series. I like Daffy Duck. So, I got that. Uh, back to the sale where the rest of this stuff came from. I... I got this sign here. This sign goes on uh, goes on a post. Um, it's a triangular sign, so it's triple sided there. AT and T, Norway, Illinois. 
at their 800 number there, nothing down at the bottom. Obviously, I haven't had this long enough to clean it up. Warning, transcontinental cable route in this vicinity. Call for location. And if you look at the AT&T logo, it's similar to the one on my phone here. The one on the inside is a little bit bigger. Yeah, it is. If you look at the logo on my phone versus the logo on this sign here, they're mostly the same. Uh, it's changed a little bit, as you can see. The one on my phone looks like you're looking more at the top of the circle versus the uh, one on this sign looks like the uh, just looking dead on at the side of this. It's not a circle, it's a sphere. Um, put my phone back in my pocket there. Uh, I'm going to lay this down. I don't want it to fall on something. I got this really cool toaster. You can see my camera here. Got this chrome toaster here. Pretty cool. It's a Sunbeam. I'm going to say probably from the 60s or the 70s because of the wood grain and the colors. Probably 60s. It's a four slice toaster. I'm told that it works. Uh, it's got a two slice and a four slice switch. Maybe that's just a handle. It's pretty clean inside. There's no breadcrumbs or anything in there. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that you could actually use this. If there is crumbs in it, I'm going to dump them all out on my table here. What does that say? Electric toaster catalog number 21... 20 volts AC only blah 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 with wall or base receptacle unplug toaster before opening cover that would be a good idea so it needs polished up a little bit it looks like a good thing to use the uh, chrome cleaner on now, I'm very surprised there's only one slice, one piece of burnt toast in the, <laughs> that fell out of that toaster. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to take the camera to the other stuff I got there because it's bigger. The toaster was about the maximum size thing I could set on here without knocking everything over. I don't know why it always looks dark down here. I'm always right under a light. I have the uh, Unico Bureau premium HD motor oil series one let's say United Co-op Incorporated down on the bottom Alliance Ohio the top of the lid here says SAE 30 which is actually the kind of oil that my truck takes this side is the better side of the can US five gallons. Got that uh, sign there. Bureau Premium HD Service DM Service DG Service MS. Uh, same thing on this side here. So the top of it, you can probably tell, is smushed in a little bit. Uh, and I'm missing the nozzle here. I have a bendy nozzle for one of these cans though So I'm okay there Now this Set of hubcaps here. They're dusty. I haven't cleaned them off yet, but the guy said they'd been under this uh, Table for a long long time. It was in his garage um, I Got this whole set of four hubcaps for five bucks Five dollars for a whole set for a full set of vintage metal hubcaps, and I I checked them all. They're in really good shape. Uh, just the top of them there. 
Pontiac Motor Division. Uh, they're dusty, as you can see, but I, I think once I clean them up, they'll be in really good shape. You can see they're painted gray between the uh, chrome here. You know, like where these holes are is painted gray. You can probably see it on the camera. Um, there's a whole set of them there. They're kind of jammed together, but when I was at the sale, I pulled them apart and looked at them. None of them are rusty or anything. They're all in really good shape. You never get an old set of hubcaps for five bucks. If I could have got to the Buick hubcaps, I would have bought all four of those too, but I couldn't get to them. Uh, this was a dollar. I don't know. He didn't know what this was off of, and neither do I. I'm thinking maybe a Corvette because of the, the racing flags in that center there. Maybe it's from a Corvette. Kind of looks like a Corvette wheel or a Corvette hubcap because of these uh, slots back here in the uh, background of the spokes. But I think this is like an $8 hubcap. At least, you know, for like a garage sale, it'd be like eight dollar $8 hubcap just the way it is. Uh, you know, if you went to an antique store or something, you'd probably pay up for this. You know, you might pay 20 or $30 for this hubcap, uh, depending on where you went. But um, it's in pretty good shape. It's kind of dusty. I, I don't really think it's, it's rusty in too many places. Uh, the back is rusty, obviously. Um, but I don't think it's too rusty on the, on the front here. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, this hubcap's got some weight to it. It's probably from the, I want to say the 60s. It looks like a 60s hubcap, maybe 70s. Uh, I don't think it's probably 80s, but it's not any newer than the 80s. Uh, so probably 60s to 80s on that one. I don't know what it's off of, so I can't look it up. I'm going to say probably a Corvette. The Pontiac ones I forgot to Google, so I don't know when they're from. I'm going to say probably 70s, just the way those look. May Give or take, you know. Uh, I believe that's it from that sale. Then I have a couple things back at the table. I just wanted to do each sale individually so I didn't forget anything. At the other sale that I went to, Got this Ranger Boats hat. It's pretty clean. I don't think it's really been worn that much. I had to laugh at the brand though. The brand is Kudzu. And their logo is that awful plant that grows all over the uh, southeastern part of the U.S. If, if you're from like uh, um, South Carolina, North Carolina, that... That side of the coast there, that eastern coast, you you know and probably hate kudzu. So the fact that that is uh, the brand of that hat I thought was funny. Alright, this bag of stuff here. First thing, probably the coolest thing I got there, is this International Metro plastic van here. It has the international emblem at the time. The international emblem at the top says Metro. Uh, that's the type of van this is, is an international Metro. Uh, to give you some idea of what the real one looks like, obviously you could Google one. Uh, the uh, If you watch American Pickers, they found the original Aerosmith van. Uh, that was an international Metro of about the same vintage as this little plastic one here. I'm curious with this sticker on the top, was this a promotional thing for International? It's made by Product Miniature Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, it's got International badges on each of the hubcaps. In the in the center center there, you can see the International logo. It's on each of those wheels. I won't show you the other side. I mean, obvious. Obviously, they're they're there. You can probably see them from right there. Uh, now the uh, the back doors are stamped onto this separate piece of plastic here. 
and they're supposed to slide into there's some slots in the side here that you probably I won't probably be able to show you very easily there you go you can see that slot but I can't get this to go back in the slot uh, obviously this is very old or it's not super old but it's old it's probably from the 60s uh, I don't want to damage it further you can see the bumper is broke it's got some chips in here I don't want to tear it up anymore so I didn't force it you know you can see the aging in the, the plastic here so if anybody has any insight about this put it in the comments below because I don't know a darn thing about it <clears throat> and uh, I have not googled it yet if it's something super special it'll probably have its own video I don't think it is though I got a telephone amplifier system I think they gave it to me it says a dollar but I think they gave it to me it's from Radio Shack man that's the 80s Radio Shack uh, logo there amplifier sensitivity privacy got the volume here it's called a duo a duo phone electric telephone amplifier system uh, here's the rest of the cord here of course obviously by that by I don't know what the name of this end is called but obviously that plugs into the telephone Duo phone telepho telephone amplifier system. Date of manufacture. Oh, come on. Date of manufacture is not stamped on there anywhere. That sucks. Custom manufactured in China. Custom manufactured in China for Radio Shack, a division of Tandy Corporation. Alright, so there's that. I got a picture frame here. Uh, one more picture frame here. These are nice, but if they fall off, these usually break. So I was glad I only had to pay a dollar for it. Uh, those those frames aren't real durable. Um, I got some empty cassette cases because uh, I have a couple tapes, really good tapes that don't have cases. This is an interesting case. I think this is probably an older one. Uh, I have an uh, old tape. Uh, that's uh, in a case like that. So that's why I say I think that's an older one. Uh, then I got some actual music here. Warner Western Sampler, Volume One. So this, since it's a sampler, it's got more songs on it than I figured it did. Got some Diamond Rio. Nope. I, I read that wrong. That says Diamond Joe Don Edwards. I I can't read, apparently. <laughs> Diamond Joe down by the Brazos, Colorado Trail, Timber Trail, Bosses Hanging Out a Rainbow, The Prairie, The Riders, Thanksgiving Day Argument, When They Finish Shipping Cattle in the Fall, Cowboy Logic. Okay. George Strait. Here you can read what all's on there. This is okay. The best of George Strait, 1991. Country music rising stars. You can read what's on there. This is from 1992. Hey, look, normal stuff to be on this channel. Hot Wheels. <laughs> Is there a normal content for this YouTube channel anymore? I really am beginning to wonder if there is. The 19, the CN 3D series, 1970 Dodge Charger Daytona. If we're having a plastic base, this car feels pretty heavy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, it says number 22. 
pretty cool casting here. I don't think they make this casting anymore. This is from 2000. Got the track system advertisement on the back. The world's coolest car company. I, I had forgotten they started putting that on their packages for a while. This is probably from 2011. What's it say? Muscle Mania? Yep, 2011. 1971 Dodge Charger. I thought this was pretty cool because I like the green wheels on it. I thought the green wheels kind of stood out to me. And I like the color of the car as well. But the, uh, the green wheels really stuck out to me. It says 426 Hemi on the hood. The Charger badge, Dodge. Got a Hot Wheels badge up above where it says Dodge. Pretty cool. So say Virtual Collection. Man, they made that kind of difficult to read. Virtual Collection Cars. 3D screen saver with, of this car with purchase. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, requires Microsoft Windows 95 or higher. Uh, you can read how to do that if you want to do this. This is from 2000. Of our Chevrolet licensing up there. Coolest car company. This is the start of their... Um, electronic uh, world of Hot Wheels. Monte Carlo concept car. So this is not exactly like the Monte Carlo that they came out with. But looking at it, it's quite similar to it. It's got some interesting, very 90s graphics on it. Uh, it's pink. It's not actually red. It kind of looks red on the camera. It's uh, definitely pink, though. Um, nice looking car, though. This is a uh, all die cast uh, casting here. I like this casting. I was glad to find another one. That one's quite heavy. And then we have a uh, Toyota MR2. Uh, again, I like the graphics on it there. Definitely a race car. Jones Toyota. Does it say McClawson? Nope. I can't read that. K A. No, K L A U. And the rest is all mashed together. Maybe K A L. I, I'm not dyslexic. K L A U S. And the rest is mashed together. I'm. I, I don't know why I'm having some trouble tonight. What's that say? Dynoon tuned. Or maybe that says Dynodon tuned. Dynodon tuned. That's what that says. Dynodon tuned. Uh, which is obviously a dyno. Um, safer oil. Something seal. It looks like the Ideal Toys logo. Um... Cosin Performance on the hood. All right. I probably proved to everybody that I can't read, but I promise I can. Uh, oh, the first sale where I got the tractor and everything. Uh, this was free. And if anyone has any information about it, tell me. This is a bear. Obviously, it's a bear wearing some blue jeans. He's got a, a pistol holster. I think he's a cowboy bear. He, he's he got the uh, bandana. is supposed to be around his face. It's just slid down. Uh, now he's made by Ideal Toy Company. I can't find a uh, year anywhere on this tag. Just says he's got washable fabric. Uh, 
my guess based on the uh the fur and everything and maybe the eyes as well um and you can just kind you can kind of see how it's put together um i think this is probably from the 60s he's got a little rivet back here in his pants um now the only i bears by ideal i looked for probably an hour trying to figure out anything about this bear and the only thing that i could come up with was uh, that it might be kind of rare because I can't find anything about it anywhere. Um, like, the only bears I could find that had blue jeans were Smokey the Bear, you know, the wildfire bear, or prevent wildfire bear. But on those bears, instead of having fur on the bottom of his feet, which would make sense, he had jeans on the bottom of his feet, and from about where this fold is right here forward was fur, like sticking out of a sandal, I guess, or a boot. Um, so this is a cowboy bear. And I thought I had a hat for him at, the, at a different garage sale. Um, where's my Halloween? I have a Halloween bag somewhere. Oh, I found it. And um, I didn't ever show this. This came from the... Ra the sale where I got the radio and the Christmas ornaments and stuff. I got it because it's from Kmart. 49 cents at Kmart. I think they just gave it to me. Trick or treat. It has the same image of this bag on the bag. Inside the bag is some crayons from Kmart. They're flipped over. Okay, they're, they're camera shy. You can kind of see them down there. And there's also a straw hat. Well, I put that... I think this straw hat's for, like, those geese. You know, those concrete geese that sit outside? I think that's what this is for. But I put it on the bear, and it doesn't look right. That's not the right kind of straw hat for this bear. This bear needs a cowboy hat. So, no information on him. So, I don't know. Uh, a couple other things out in the barn I'll show you. I lied to you. I forgot some stuff. These are really nice signs. They were only a dollar. I'm going to stand up so you quit here in that squeaky chair. These are Ducks Unlimited signs. I don't know if you have to be part of Ducks Unlimited to get these. Or, or what. Uh, I know my grandpa's Ducks Unlimited, so... You know, they send him stuff in the mail. I have a shirt that's from Ducks Unlimited that I that I ordered from his, uh, he got a paper in the mail. So these might have been a mail order thing. They send you something and you can, you can buy it or not. Uh, I like this picture. Obviously a young boy with the hunting dog there. The truck's got some uh, Ducks Unlimited stickers on it there. That's like their shield. This, this says join DU, which would be Ducks Unlimited. Cut the logo there. The license plate probably has something to do with Ducks, DU. Got uh, Ducks Unlimited there. This doesn't matter at all, but based on this tail light with the chrome and everything, I'm thinking this is a S10, a Chevy S10. Because the only, it's the only thing I can come up with that had this chrome trim going around the tail light. Not all of them had that. Some of them did though. Could also be a Ford, but I don't think it is. It doesn't matter. You know, he got his rifle and the uh, duck decoys, a couple of them in there. Got his duck call. Got his Ducks Unlimited coat. Just kind of a cool, cool sign there. These are tin signs. Then I got this really cool one of dogs. Uh, there's not as much of a glare on it there. Now this is cool. This one also says Ducks Unlimited down here. Uh, not as much product placement as on this one with the stickers and, stu and such. We have a duck call, duck decoys, and a rifle hanging on the wall. Of course we got the hunting dogs. The hunting hat. That might be a hunting vest. Based on the uh, pockets here for shotgun shells. 
Uh, we have a wood crate here. Might have had shotgun shells in it at one time. Uh, just a cool picture of the, the dogs in front of the uh, fireplace and probably a cabin. Uh, you can see that was a dollar. What's this say? DU Ducks Unlimited waiting at Cross Creek. Oh, these have names of the artwork. That's cool. I didn't notice that. Oh, the sticker's gone on this one. I wanted to know what this one was called. All right. All this NASCAR stuff, I'm going to show in a different video because I have a bunch of it. Same sale where the signs came from. This was free. This is some kind of... I guess it's some type of rubber. It's a keyboard cover for a... I, probably for a laptop. It's a keyboard cover, you know. They're just squishy buttons. Maybe... You know how, like, some people, if they eat over their keyboard or stuff, the keyboard gets kind of gross because it's got, like, uh, dirt and food and stuff in it. You know, sometimes keyboard gets gross. Maybe if you put maybe you put this cover over it. It'd have to be probably for a specific type of uh, keyboard because I don't think all of them have this button up here. Um... You know, the, the formatting, obviously all keyboards, the buttons are in the same place. Uh, I don't want to say all, but most of them, you know, the alphabet's in the same numbers. Mostly, for the most part, all this stuff's in the same place. But, um, uh, obviously for a, uh, uh, keyboard, I don't think it'll fit on this here, uh, spell right that I got buried up here. Because there's, there's more buttons than what's on the spell, right? Uh, yeah, obviously that's for uh, a laptop. But that was free. I don't know what kind of laptop it's for, so it probably doesn't do me any good. But I thought it intrigued me because of whatever rubbery stuff it's made out of. So I got it. And I got this old picnic basket here. It's wicker. It's in really good shape. There's a uh, sheet metal screw in the side of it here. That's the only real issue I found with it. It's got a uh, wood top on it. That's probably the original top. The reason I say that, it's got this wood strip here. Uh, here's the inside of it here. Pretty plain. Oh, I also got this thermometer there. <laughs> this thermometer was also at my friend's garage sale. I don't know how much it was at his garage sale, but it was 50 cents at this garage sale, so I got it there. Thermometer seems to be working pretty good. Uh, this picnic basket's been on the floor in the basement, so it's maybe a little bit cooler than uh, what what it is in this room. Uh, you know, concrete floor in the basement, so uh, it is going to be a little cool. Got the uh, John Deere tractor here. That's probably an A. I don't think it's a G. I think it's probably an A. Now, it has been cracked and glued back together, but the uh, mercury in there seems to still be working, so that's good. Uh, this stuff just happened to be in the picnic basket. This is, I think this was like graphite pencils for art, which I draw, so this is like a just a big bonus, you know. I didn't buy this. It just happened to be in the basket. Royal and Langenickel. Langenickel. Uh, but you see, they're just graphite uh, art pencils. They're in this nice little zip-up thing. That'd be good for taking on vacation, I think. You know, when we go on vacation, I usually sit in the back of the car and draw. Got some... Uh, colored pencils here. Got some nice ones. Usually these ones with the black tops on them here are uh, they're usually pretty higher quality ones. Coloring pencils. I don't know what that is. That's just something a bit else that's in there. It's a book. It says Doodle Diary. I don't know. I didn't even know that stuff was in here until I bought the. I got it home and I was like, oh, there's actually stuff in the basket. 
So, uh, I'm gonna t before it gets dark out, I'm gonna take you out to the barn and show you. Uh, I got a wheelbarrow and a vacuum at this garage sale as well. So I'll take you out and see that. Uh, and then that'll probably be it for this video. I think I left most of the stuff in the back of my truck. <laughs> I I pulled the other stuff out. Oh. A couple days ago. So. Got this cooking tray here. This was free. This was in the same box as the rubber keyboard cover. Also have Anilon. This is like a cookie sheet with a rubber handle on it. Uh, that was... That was also free. We have a Hoover Runabout vacuum. Uh, you can't see it here, but it is dusty. Uh, cleaning effectiveness per amp, 14.5. Only, use, <laughs> only uses 7 amps. Uh, it's got bare floor and then... Probably like carpet or something. You lift that up. I don't know. It's got cleaning tools here. There's nothing in there. Brushed edge cleaning. Yes, it does have the brushes on the edge. Uh, well, it's got one of the brushes down there. That's nice. You know, one of the attachments there. Tool receiver. We don't have any of the tools or the wand. That'd be nice to have the wand. They're always missing the wand. Type A. Looks like the cord's in good shape. Looks like the hose is in good shape. So that's nice. So I just put the vacuum in the... Uh, it was raining when I bought the vacuum, so I hurried up. I was glad it was only a couple miles down the road. I hurried up and got home. Uh, it wasn't raining too bad. You can kind of see the water spots on my back window. Uh, but anyway, I got home and I pulled the vacuum and the sheet, the trays, not sheets, the trays out of the uh, back of the truck. But I've been driving around with this wheelbarrow in my truck for about a week. Uh, it's a really nice wheelbarrow. I think it is. Um, I'm going to set this up on the top of my truck and try to show this to you. Because, uh, now there's no markings on it. I'm not really sure who made it or anything like that. I wish my camera would focus. Is it dusty? No, it's not dusty. Maybe it was because it just focused after I did that. Maybe it was dusty. But, um, it's an old enough wheelbarrow. It's got a metal wheel with a hard rubber tire on it. You know, as opposed to a, uh, a rubber tire. Uh, it's a really light wheelbarrow. Uh, I loaded it by myself. Uh, which, I mean, I could have loaded a regular wheelbarrow in here. But, um, there would have been a lot more effort than this. I think I put it in here with one hand. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's so lightweight. I mean, you can see it's not a real high quality one. I hope that bolt didn't come. I hope that bolt didn't come out of the wheelbarrow somewhere. <laughs> uh, you can see it's, it's kind of mashed in down there a little bit, but it's not in bad shape. Uh, there's no markings on it anywhere, so I'm not sure who made it. Like I, I guess I said that already. Looks like there used to be a sticker up there. Uh, you know, just it's just a nice lightweight, uh, light use wheelbarrow. Uh, it reminds me, and I know this is because it's red and white, but it reminds me of the old True Value uh, wheelbarrows. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but that's what it reminds me of. It's got both of the grips on the handles. Guess how much this wheelbarrow was? I mean, this wheelbarrow, I think, is really nice. I think it's a nice wheelbarrow. It's only, it was only $2 at the garage sale. I paid more for the vacuum than I did for the wheelbarrow. 
So, uh, that was nice. I guess I don't have to put you up there to show you this. But, uh, so I'll probably just end the video here. I know this is an odd place to end it. But I've showed you everything I got at the garage sale uh, up to this point. So, oh, I see where that bolt came from. There's two bolts there. There's only one bolt there. So that's where that other bolt came from. I don't know if I'll find a nut in here or not. I don't know. I'm getting bit up by back by black flies in this barn here. So I'm going to go back in the house. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. And uh, the next video will probably be stuff from my friend's garage sale. So there you go.